Hey guys, it's Michelle. Welcome back to my channel. So I am back with another video for you guys and in today's video We are just gonna be applying a wig. <laughs> so um, This wig is from my first wig and their wigs are very very beginner friendly When I say beginner friendly, I mean you can take it out of the box and put it on your head and That's it. So I did not have to bleach the knots on this wig whatsoever I didn't have to do anything to the lace like this lace melted down perfectly this is real swiss lace and if you guys are not familiar with what real swiss lace is it's pretty much the best lace there is hd lace which is also real swiss lace however um hd lace is a gimmicky name it's just a gimmick name and there's also fake hd and real hd now the real hd lace is actually the real swiss lace if you guys want me to do a video on the difference so i can show you guys Comment down below and let me know. So when I say it's straight out of the box, meaning I didn't have to do anything to this wig, but put her on. Now I did add some layers into it. However, the color, I didn't do any of the color or anything like that. But you guys, the way this lace melts, honey, get into this lace. Where is she? She is invisible. You can't even see her. She does not even exist. Okay, so this is the box that the wig comes in. It's from my first wig. This is the packaging and that's the wig. It comes with one of those elastic bands and you get two wig caps. I already have my wig cap on. I'm not gonna do the ball cap method. You also get a flyaway tamer and I don't know why I never used this to apply my wigs before, but I love it. And you get some combs and some clips and all that good stuff. So I'm just gonna put my wig on and I have some foundation powder on my wig cap just so it matches, you know, my forehead, my hairline looks good I put the wig on you guys and this is how the wig looks when it's on I'm actually pretty impressed because looking at it I'm like mm, I don't really have a lot of work to do which is good if you are a beginner this is amazing because you won't have to do a lot to make the wig look good now the hairline it is just a tad bit thick not too thick it's pretty decent so I'm just going to go ahead and comb it just to see if I want to tweeze it now as you guys can see, this wig is fresh out the box. I do not bleach the knots, you guys. The knots on this wig is freaking amazing. Probably one of the best knots I've ever, ever seen on a wig, because usually you have to bleach the knots when you get a wig. So I went in with my tweezer. I did a little bit of tweezing. I did probably like five minutes of tweezing just around the hairline, and I'm gonna go in with my scissors and just cut off the ear part. This is always the hardest part for me to do, and you wanna be very careful when you cut that. You don't wanna mess it up, and I just cut in the middle of the lace. I'm just using some alcohol to get rid of any oil or makeup that's on my forehead. It's actually best to apply your wig without makeup on, but I already have makeup on. So I'm just cleaning off my makeup. Now, I don't use alcohol to take my wigs off, by the way, you guys. I use a glue remover. We'll do a video on that very soon. And I'm going to go in with my glue. I'm using the Bold Hold Lace Glue. I love this one. And I'm just going to apply a thin layer. Well, it wasn't that thin, but you should apply a thin layer. And I'm going to spread it with my rat tail comb. And then I'm going to go in with my blow dryer on a cool setting. So never apply the wig when the glaze glue is wet wait until you can't see it and it's clear and then you apply your lace then you're going to go in with your blow dryer on a cool setting with your rat tail comb press her down now when i tell you are, are you guys seeing this lace like she's practically invisible like i'm loving it i'm gonna go in with my little razor thingy and it's an eyebrow razor and the scissors and cut off the excess lace i like using both tools instead of just the scissors i find like with the scissors the when you cut the lace it's too blunt so i like using the eyebrow razor and the scissors as for the glue if you feel like you need to add another layer of glue you can definitely do that I was only planning on wearing my wig for probably about a day, maybe two. So I only added one layer. You can add multiple layers depending on how long you want to wear it. And if you're somebody who like sweats a lot, so you might need more glue. So I'm just going to go in on the right by the ear. This part is always the hardest I find to glue. I have to put a little bit more glue just to get this part to stick. And I like to go over it with my Goss to be free spray because it's really going to melt down that lace and you know keep her secure and she won't be flipping all over the place so the wig is glued on i have more detailed videos on gluing down wigs I'm just drinking my water and minding my business um <laughs> 
I do have a lot of detailed videos on wig application. I will link one of those in the description bar down below. But this hair, this wig is beginner friendly. I wanted to do something that was super easy, you know, straight out the box. So yeah, I'm just melting down the lace. And once the lace is all melted down, this is how she's looking. The wig is on, but she's sitting a little bit high, which most wigs tend to do, especially if they're fresh out the box. So we're going to have to do some things to get her, you know, to sit down a little lower because we don't want our wigs to look like a helmet or a hat. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to part the side and go in with some hair mousse. The one I'm using is from ORS and I'm going to use my hot comb. I think I kind of burnt myself there, but this hot comb is like super, super hot. So you got to be very, very, very careful when you're using a hot comb. Like hot combs really terrify me. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and do another part and add some more mousse. This is how I'm going to get the wig to lay flat on the bottom. I don't have perfect cornrows underneath my wig i have like two big braids sometimes i even slick my hair back it depends i don't know how to do cornrow i don't know how i haven't figured that out i've watched so many tutorials but i still don't get it i'm gonna go in with the taming stick now so this is just hair wax hair wax makes your wigs lay flat and you won't see any of the little frizzies i don't know why i wasn't using a hair wax before but Honestly, after this wig application video that I did with this hair wax, I was like, wow, this is definitely a game changer. I'm going to continue to use this. Anywho, I'm repeating the same steps over and over until my wig is completely flat. This next step is completely optional. You don't have to do the baby hair thing if you don't want to. I like a small, tiny bit of baby hairs. I find that it looks natural, realistic. It's not exactly to hide the lace. I just feel like just a tiny bit is necessary. It's up to you. You don't have to add it if you don't want to. So I'm gonna go in with my hair mousse and I'm going to, right now I look like I have a lot of baby hair. I didn't like it, so I kind of comb it back up. You won't see it once I tie my wig down. <laughs> Anywho, I'm just putting on some mousse and then I'm gonna tie my hair down with a scarf. And you can tie your hair down with a scarf, leave it on for about like 10, 15 minutes. This right here will literally melt down your lace. This is like my favorite thing to do. Like my wigs look amazing once I take the scarf off. So yeah, I'm just gonna tie it down, leave it, and then take it off. All right, she is melted down to perfection. We're loving it. Now you guys, I just wanna um, say something really quickly. My eyebrows in this video, kind of a hot mess. <laughs> I tried a new brow technique and I don't, I don't know what's going on here, but this video was actually filmed like two weeks ago, but yeah, this was a mess and moving right along. So the part, the center part, I went ahead and I add some foundation powder just so my part can look a lot cleaner. Now we're going to go ahead and straighten her. As you can see, I just went ahead and try to cut my hair. Try to because I'm not really much of a cutter. Is that what you say? Cutter? I don't know. Anyways, I'm not really the best at cutting hair, but I wanted to do that 90s layered look. So I did some cutting just a little in the front, but then I realized, you know what, let me just straighten the whole thing first and then go in with my scissors. So now I'm going in with my scissors to create the layers in the front of the hair. And then I'm going to go ahead and straighten the other side of the hair as well. I'm just using my Babeless flat iron. This hair was already straight. I just wanted to perfect her because she was looking a little raggedy. Uh, shorter I'm gonna so I'm gonna go back in with my scissors and I'm gonna cut some shorter layers in the front I'm really really loving that 90s layered look I used to wear my hair like this back in the day all the time and the style is in a lot I see a lot of people doing it so I'm trying it and I went in with my little um, blade my hair blade <laughs> and cut it but I prefer to use the scissors it's a lot easier for me to use so yeah, this is pretty much a completed look on this hair. I really love this lace. This lace is bomb. It's amazing. And I love the layers that I did. As I said before, I'm not the best at cutting, but you know, practice makes perfect. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Please give me a big thumbs up if you do. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see next. And I will be back very soon with another video. I love you guys. Thank you. Bye.